first we open Google Earth. Now for the demonstration purposes today I'll be choosing this uh, big island called Madagascar to digitize. So what I'll be doing now is I'll be digitizing this using Google Earth and I'll be transferring that digitized file into ArcMap and create a shape file. So first we go to add polygon and I'm just going to give a name here. I'm going to name it as Madagascar. And I'm going to create a style and a color. Uh, and now let's start digitizing. Now I'm not going to be that precise in digitizing because that's not really the purpose of this tutorial. It's just to show you how to transfer the KMZ format to standard S3 shape file. You see now we're almost done. And we can double click to complete it. After that you can press OK to save it. And then if you scroll down over here, you can see we have got a new file called Madagascar. Next, what you need to do is you need to save this file. So you just right click on this and go to save places as. Okay, when I'm trying to save the file, you can see actually it's going to get saved in a format called KMZ. Now this KMZ is the standard format which is being used by Google Earth, especially when you create uh, some sort of a shape file and, and when you try to save it, it'll get saved in this uh, KMZ format. And this is the file format that we're trying to convert later on into uh, S3 shape file. So I'm just going to save it like this then we can open ArcMap okay once you have opened ArcMap you go to search here or you can simply press ctrl F and here type KML to layer and select the first option now here it's asking us to input the KML file so here we have to actually navigate to the place where we saved our KMZ file and as you can see here it's Madagascar and we just open it and as the output location, I'm going to specify the same folder, KMZ to shapefile. Alright, then you can press OK. Okay, now as you can see, we have successfully added that shape into our uh, ArcMap interface. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a shapefile. Now, in order to do that, you can click here and right click and go to data and export data. What I'm trying to do is actually, I'm trying to just save this as a new shapefile. And I'm already in my folder, so I'm just going to change the name and leave the .shp just as it is. So I'm going to name this as Madagascar shapefile. Yes. Now I can go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay, now how do we verify whether we have successfully exported this or not? Uh, one way is to actually check whether we have gotten the correct projection or not. Now if you go to properties and here you can see that actually it has uh, the WGS1984 coordinate system which is uh, used by Google Earth. And also another way to verify is actually by adding a base map. You can go to file and you can add data and add a base map and check whether this correctly fits with the, with the real location or not. Okay, once the base map is loaded, you can see that we have perfectly aligned our digitized shape file on top of Madagascar. So that concludes the tutorial for today. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you would like to see more videos on the practical usage of ArcGIS uh, as well as Python programming, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you very much and have a good day.